I always like to say the first 10,000 are the hardest when you're learning to shear sheep, and that's just about true. You know, after 10,000, then you can kind of qualify yourself as a shearer. You have to control that sheep with your feet, legs, and your left hand. If you're a right-handed shearer, why, of course, that leaves your hand free to shear, see? And you have to maneuver that sheep around. And uh, that sheep has not been sheared maybe before, and they don't remember from time to time when they are sheared. They say, oh, they've been sheared before, so they know what's going on. I don't think they remember that. They might remember how to fight. We start uh, with our junior division, which is our younger shearers, and some of them may have a year or half a year of training, and they need to be proficient enough to where they're not cutting the sheep and they can handle the sheep before they come here to start in the shearing contest. As far as the industry, this, this represents how wool is harvested and the fact that it does have to be harvested so we can use it and also to make the lambs more comfortable, to make it easier at breeding time and at lambing time. But on, on top of that, it's also a show. It's here to, to be a spectacle for people to see sheep sheared because it's something they normally don't get to see. Our second division is our amateurs. Some of them have been shearing for a number of years, but they don't shear a large number every year. They'll shear four for time and score. An ideal time is six minutes for four sheep. They're scored on the way they handle the sheep, whether or not it gets away, how they hold it, if they can keep it in control. There will be one judge out front who will actually take the fleece after they're done and he'll shake it because you don't want second cuts. If you shear the sheep and then go back and, and hit that spot again, you get a really short piece of wool, which is basically no value. And to make sure that they don't abuse the sheep when they're shearing it. Then the sheep are put in a pen behind and there are gentlemen that go through and they count the number of cuts, the number of nicks, and then they score the sheep for the appearance, its shorn appearance. Time only counts for 20% of the score. We've got competitors here that have been national champions, they've been world champions. We have competitors here that have sheared in New Zealand and Australia in contests. Uh, so Iowa really has a good set of, of shears. I used to come here with my grandfather when I was a toddler and watch him shear in this competition and that got me interested in shearing sheep. In our family there's been three generations to me and then my son started, he's the fourth generation. I think it's a dying, dying thing. There's not that much interest anymore from the young kids and it's good to keep these contests going to spark interest. This has always been one of the best contests in the United States and probably one of the best in the world.